Hey everyone, Red here. It's time for another Reds Requested, and today we have the Temporal Gift Pinhead build. So, let's go ahead and break it down. First, we have Jolt. Putting a survivor into the dying state with a basic attack is going to cause all gens within a 32 meter radius to explode, immediately losing 8% of their progress and to begin regressing. Next, we have Hoarder. Survivors reveal their location when they interact with a chest or when they pick up an item within 64 meters of my location. This is great for whenever survivors pick up your box. Next, we have Franklin's Demise. Basic attacks will make survivors drop their item on the ground and they will slowly lose charges over time. And last but not least, we have Skirchuk, Gift of Pain. Whenever a survivor is unhooked from a Skirchuk, they suffer from the hemorrhage and mangled status effect until they are fully healed. And the first time they are healed, they suffer a 16% speed penalty to healing and repairing actions until they're injured again. As far as add-ons, we have Liquefied Gore and Larry's Remains, which is going to increase the time it takes survivors to solve the configuration by an additional 3 seconds. Overall, that's today's build. It's been a little bit since i played Pinhead, so I'm excited to get right back into it. Let's go. Alright. Looks like we have Larry's for the first game. Definitely not my favorite map, but... Let's see what we can do. Yeah, we can go over to the left side here, I think. And we kind of play around that. No one's at the middle gen. Oh, we do have people here, though. Cool. We got two. And there goes Sprint Burst. Maybe? Aw. I thought I'd hit him on the end of Sprint Burst there. I should have been a little bit more patient on it. I might as well go for him real quick. Maybe? That should give me a free first hit. Thank you, and I'll take that flashlight. Yeah, he does access to this. We can just break this and call this good for now. There's no real point in keep chasing him. There's actually quite a few pallets, especially on the outside of Larry's. Not to mention all the vault possibilities. So I don't want to get drawn into a long chase. Not right away. Someone does have my box. Ooh, they're a distance. Let's go ahead and go to it. I ah, came. smart. So she's taking the box as far away as possible. That's what you should do whenever you have Pinhead's box. Oh. Unfortunate. If I didn't hit my other chain, it'd be fine. Since I walked through my chains in that angle, it hurt me. That works. We're kind of on the edge. I don't really want to be here, but if she's going to stay here, maybe. Oh, she just walked right out, didn't she? Yeah. Perks of Larry's. Well, I can just follow you like this. Hi. <laughs> That's why you make sure the killer is following you beforehand. Oh, we got. Oh, that's almost done. And she got some good distance. That won't do a lot, but hopefully it helps just a little bit. Maybe buys me like five, six more seconds here later. Oh. Picked up my box, though. I'm okay with this. Oh, she has no idea. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and break this, and we can go ahead and get Chain Hunt started. That's kind of the whole point with bringing Franklin's and Hoarder. Hoarder will allow you to see survivors who are within like 64 meters to who pick up your box and you can chase them down and go for them. Franklin allows you to knock out of their hand and then play with it accordingly. Hold it forward. You have no idea what I'm doing. Ah, yeah. Great chains there. We can leave it for a second. Yeah, that's why. You definitely might have to do some slugging with this to try and keep the chain hunts going, and that's definitely what I'm going to look to do. Thank you. Well, we had a slow start, but man, did we get a pretty quick snowball effect. I'll tear your soul apart. Tell him, Pinhead. One of the nice things about Franklin's is you don't start the chain hunt right away. I can actually activate it afterwards, which is a lot better, actually. So now I see everybody after hooking um, Jake, which is great. It means I can get right back into chase, 
information that's delayed by a few seconds hurts. Very lucky on that. We gotta leave this for now. Oh. Hey, dude. Oh. That works. I do have someone else over here. I don't know if I really want to pick up just yet. Yeah, especially with them hanging out around here like this. My chains are definitely off today. Oh? Can I stop that? No, I can't. Maybe? Oh, oh, what? No! Literally right under her hand. That's so unfortunate. Fair enough. Yeah, we both got nice ping. I see. Yeah, I definitely don't want to play it. I'd much rather be closer to the three gens over here. That way, every time I get it down, Joel just gets massive value. And I know that I don't want them to healing. Ah, yeah, exactly. They were all over here trying to heal up. If I would have kept that one chase up, it could have really hurt me. Some pretty decent value. Okay, not there. Oh, I hear him. He might be above. No? In the locker? Oh, here he is. That works. He's trying to be stealthy. No, I can't do anything about that. Well, maybe. If I can get this hook in time, I might be able to get there. Ah, she went to the same spot. You know, honestly, next time I might not come over here to this. Probably just let her do it, but make her waste time by being far away from the gens. Yeah, it's better to be over here. That was, that was smart on her part. That's what you want to do. You want to find like a nice safe area, like shack or an area where you can get yourself a lot of distance if Pinhead spawns around you. Oh, come here, buddy. I'd like to get at least one tag here. Nice, good call. He might be able to see my head above the tile there. Stop this healing from happening. Hey, you, come here. I can't really go for any gateways or anything here. It's just a little too wonky and risky. We can hook here and maybe move into the chase afterwards. Where are we at? Hi. The thing about Larry is it's always trying to cut people up. Yeah, she went right back to the same spot. Well, let's go ahead and hook her down in the basement then. She can have the box. At this point, I have a lot of pressure going for me, so I'm okay. That was brave. Either off the record or, yeah. Yeah, you don't get that much distance. You can't make plays like that. Not anymore. No decisive? Feels good. That was such a risky play without decisive. Even with decisive, it'd be pretty rough. I have a feeling Nia probably won't come over to this area. So Jake's going to be the one who most likely goes for the save. I really don't want to venture too far away from it. I mean, I got all the gens over here that I want to protect. And Larry's does have a good setup for uh, three gens. Oh, hi. That works. See if maybe we can play the grab game. Uh, I tried timing it. That's okay. Don't do it. Thank you. Means you don't have decisive. All right, and let's teleport to that. 
Nice. She's the last survivor, so yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate for her. All right, and that is game number one. A lot of fun. So let's go ahead and move on to game number two. Ooh, Mother's Dwelling. Not my favorite map, but the nice thing about bigger maps, even with Pinhead, is that it means there's a farther travel time to the box. And I really enjoy this build. Overall, I think it's a nice, fun, kind of chill and kill build. Uh, Jolt gets a lot of value if you decide to make slug plays. It's always very versatile. I think I see someone over here already. Yeah, hey, how you doing, buddy? I'll take that toolbox. I like my gens going normal speed, thank you. But Hoarder and Franklin's, while they're not like the most efficient, they leave for such fun gameplay. Maybe? Nice. I can't get that one. Oh, he went back into the corner. Hold up. Oh, that would happen. Ooh. Hoarder told me that she's on a chest. Plenty of distance so far. Is this a dead zone, though? No. Yeah, she has a pal here. Nice. Let's just break this. I might actually teleport you to that. Summoned me. I came. Peek a boo. <laughs> That's unlucky. But no, I think the build's a lot of fun. It's something I might even play on stream or do something more with. I wouldn't say it's the most efficient in any way, but again, just the idea that you're almost playing like two games in one with Hoarder and Franklin's. Hey, come here. I know you've already used that toolbox up, but I want it. My items. And what's nice about like Franklin's in general is like if you go against squads that have lots of, hold on, nice. If you go against squads that have lots of medkits, Franklin is a great counter to it. Now, of course, Swifts can always have people drop their items and whatnot, but Franklin gets tremendous value against uh, medkit groups. Oh, where are we at? Healing up under the hook? Yep. And speaking of medkits, thank you. Kind of just gotta be hold forward here. Don't know if there's any way I can really get a chain. Oh, maybe here. That's better. Ah, uh, yeah. Nice. Two chains tagged her afterwards. That's good. Yeah, she got chain RNG'd pretty hard there. <laughs> you think they're gonna heal on her hook again? It's always a dangerous game. Yeah. Oh, she stayed here. Hi. I mean, I'll chase her just to down her real quick. Well, it depends how she runs this. Well, that was brave. This is a really good place for me to be in. Chain hunt's almost active. We got a survivor on hook, survivor down. So they have to be busy and typically don't have time to go and grab the box, which makes us have a massive power spike here. I'll take it. We can hook her up real quick since the hook is right here. Just good value all around. No. Not yours. He's a little more of a priority if I can get him down pretty quick. Nice. I'll take it. Don't go for the save. It's not worth it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I can chase her. Maybe she's running to the box. Anything to kind of keep the chain hunt going. I might as well hook her up since we're all, all the way over here. And if the box is somewhere over here, I'll get a notification from Hoarder. I must be going now. Oh, Nancy. Where are you going? That's the fun part. It's like trying to find out what survivor is going for the box. Oh, I guess we found out, huh? Maybe it gets stopped? No. Feels bad. Alright, let's just go to it. You summoned He's right to my side, though. 
Probably would have been better to go for him. That might be enough. Just gotta watch out for the dead heart. Cool. And it gives us plenty of hooks. Plenty of options for later. We got someone in basement. I don't really want to head over to basement though. Yeah, I mean, going back here just makes the most sense. Because I have track of three survivors. One's in basement, non-gen, looking through a box. And we have two over here who are probably healing because they like to hook heal. Yeah. Thank you. And now we can chase her back down. Nice. It's always risky going for chains like that. Uh, scared, huh? Oh, it would. That's the one thing I don't like about chains sometimes. It's like, when you try and place them, it can sometimes force a chain or the, the waypoint in front of the survivor. Instead of like, it will never be like directly on top of a survivor. So it can push it to the side or even in front of the survivor. I mean, not bad. You got over here, made yourself some distance. Could buy out maybe time for another generator, but I don't think so. And that is one out. Yeah, all the gents here are pretty much lined up nice. And we got someone here. Ooh. I'll take it. Hello. I'm down to always go for an easier hit. Chain hunt's now active, which is great. Oh yeah, she's in danger here. Break this for later, just in case. Ooh. Nancy has the box. I mean, yeah, why not? You're injured. That's like the best time to take a teleport. In like a normal game, Pinhead can play a lot of different ways, but hit and run works out really well for him. That way, whenever you take the box, you are under risk. Oh, well, Nancy killed herself on hook, but we get the hatch. Hey, man, what's going on? There's really not a lot of places for him to run over here. The pallets are down. Yeah, he's in trouble. Hey, that's my box. And you also had a key. Give me that. Mine. And GG's. But that is the build, everyone. Overall, it's a lot of fun. It's something I might play more of here in the future. Uh, maybe on stream or something like that. I think it's a nice, relaxing build. Definitely try it out in your games, and let me know what you think. Much love, and as always, I'm Red, and I'm signing off. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope that you fucking fight back.